Brought to you by Amon Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. You farmed in Montana for 50 years, and we've got to talk about this co-op tractor sitting behind us. Uh, tell us the story. Well, uh, my folks moved down to Florida when I was about three years old. And when I went back to Montana in the summertime, when I was still in high school, why, uh, I worked for an uncle. And uh, he bought this tractor in 46, and uh, I was still a, just a teenager when I first started running this particular tractor. And it sat in the tree row for probably uh, 30 years uh, uh, before we restored it. Harry, you drove this co-op as a teenager. What were some of the things that made it a good working tractor on the farm in Montana? Well, I, t I tell you what, we uh, pulled a bundle rack with it, and it has a good road gear in it. So uh, we had what we called a barge. We even hauled hogs from, uh, from the railroad uh, to the farm with, with this tractor out on the highway. It, it'll go about 40 miles an hour. and. Uh, it, it's a little bit lightweight, but this, this tractor would pull four 14s and a packer and a drill, and uh, with a little bit of extra weight on the drawbar, why, it would move right along. Well, Harry, we've taken a look at your co-op tractor. What about this big yellow one now? Well, the big yellow tractor, that was the last... Uh, Cockshut tractor made before Cockshut was uh, united with uh, with the other uh, companies, uh, Oliver and, uh, and the White and uh, Minneapolis Company. And we had bought this tractor new, and uh, it had a power takeoff, and it was used for a baling tractor and also a, a, a plow tractor. Back in 1958 in Montana, would uh, this have been a pretty good power for the farm there? It, it was. It was about as big a tractor as we had then. Uh, it was before the four-wheel drive tractors got uh, prominent out in our country. But this was uh, about the biggest one that, uh, it was the biggest one that Cockshut made. What do you like about this particular tractor the best? Well, I don't like the color. That's one thing I didn't care about, but uh, it is a, a, a versatile tractor and uh, it was just an uh, everyday type tractor. Uh, it didn't have any special features, but it, it did have a power takeoff. It had a good engine in it and, and uh, was a pretty dependable tractor. All right. Harry Swank serving as president of the Florida Flywheelers, but he still finds time to drive a tractor around the showgrounds now and then.